Okay, so I've done the last piece of assembly that I can do uh, without the motors and proper battery pigtail. Um, and that is the mounting of the camera, the VTX and the GPS. So GPS very easy, it uh, just slots into this TPU mount. The only thing you have to watch is that yeah, you're going to have to put it on backwards. So there are two connectors on the GPS, only one of which uh, is is the um, the actual GPS port. The other is a kind of pass through, but it doesn't work the other way. So you need to um, plug in the GPS. Uh, you need to orient the GPS backwards. So the arrow on the GPS is facing backwards, and we'll have to. Um, uh, configure that it reconfigure that in software. It's just the um, this is it's the only the compass that cares uh, And then the VTX I've zip tied to the uh, Where the video transmitter is supposed to go and if you were doing an HD setup you'd put your DJI air unit here um, and you can see that uh, the little MMCX to SMA connector I've just done an S you can see that there's sort of a little S-shaped curve there uh, that the SMA end plugs quite nicely into the video uh, TPU mount here and uh, I've um, uh, fixed it with two 5mm M3 uh, nuts or bolts sorry um, I had to, to the TPU holes are a bit too small, so I had to drill those out to three mil to be able to get the the um, uh, the, the, the the bolts in. But uh, I managed that, uh, and then I did them down quite tightly. These don't come with the kit, so you'd have to get these separately. Um, but uh, yeah, and it makes for a nice sort of nice neat look, and and I can put the long range antenna on the the back there very easily. Um, and then, so that's the video unit, the VTX, and then at the front, I've just screwed in the camera. There's two TPU mounts that just pop in, uh, and then you use two four millimeter M2 uh, bolts either side. Um, they do come with the kit, but the ones that come with the run cam are also suitable, so those are the ones I, I used there. Um, and uh, it doesn't seem terribly secure because the the TPU min mount the TPU spacers fit on the inside. So I, I suppose I'm a bit worried that it won't be strong enough. But uh, that's the way it's designed. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, and I just fixed. There's two holes here, depending on your camera angle. Uh, I'm expecting quite a uh, well. I've, I've put it on the the bottom hole, which means a more extreme camera angle. You put it on the top hole, and then. You have a more level camera angle which is sort of for more leisurely flying and uh, that's all I can do until I've got the motors and the um, uh, pigtails because what I'm going to have to do next is mount the motors mount the um, ESC's and start soldering on the, the, the motors um, and uh, I don't really want to have all the electronics around when I do that. I don't want to melt sort of these gummies or anything like that. So, uh, uh, so there, we will leave it there and uh, stay tuned for when the motors arrive.